brought to you by Huskamaw Long Range Optics, Air Force Air Guns, Sleeping Indian Fine Wool Apparel, LWRC International High Performance Firearms, and by Kimco. Adventure begins here. Sounds pretty coming over that mountain, isn't it? Oh, I tell you. It's the first season elk hunt in Colorado, and the elk are moving. I'm telling my hunter not to move, because we figured there might be a bull somewhere in the area. You know, the good thing about hunting here at the Elk Ranch is you have opportunities to get on top of the mountains and spot the elk and then stalk them. And sometimes a little more stalking than we yeah. want. Yeah. A little more running. But these elk got so many places that they have so many places that they can go that uh, you've got to cut them off or go home without an elk. Okay, folks, what we got? We got some elk right down here in the pond. We're gonna sneak up on them. We've done been running three, four hundred yards. Yeah. You're in pretty good yeah. shape for an Arkansas uh, boy. I guess we're used to these hills. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna go down there. We can't tell if there's a legal bull or not, but we're gonna go down and find out. We see more elk in the lower pond, so we close the gap. He's coming right through, right through, shoot him. He's right in the road right here. He's right in the road. He's making him run across. See him in the road. See him. Boy, a nice bull. We set up, I had my shooting sticks there, and of course I couldn't get them to work the way I wanted to. So, uh, but anyway, the bull come in, uh, he was headed up a, headed up a, looked like a mountain, you know, I'm from Arkansas, so we don't have mountains, but this is what I would call a mountain. Elk got up probably about 150 yards up side of the up side of the the mountain, you know, and uh, gave me a pretty decent shot. So I took one shot and then uh, had to follow up with the second shot and uh, made a good shot on it. He's on the right. The right one's right there above that tree, right there. Here it again. Oh, good shot. Good shot. We probably had, I would say, 20 or 25 elk that was coming up through there. So, 
you know, we had to pick out which one was a bull. There was actually two bulls in the group, but the, you know, we did make a shot on the larger of the two bulls. A good shot. That last one was a good one. Hey, it's real, it's real heart pumping. Oh my God. I never could get on him. I couldn't get these sticks extended out. I know, I know so what I was that. on my knee. Cause I had a really good shot right there, but I was having- Third elk right there. But I couldn't, I couldn't get up high enough to, to do any good. We had to come down, I mean 500, 600 yards. We started seeing him, had to run down this hill. He was drinking, he was drinking right there in that pond. We recruited some of our other guys to help us pull the elk off the mountain. Oh. Not a bad bull, is he? No. No, he's not. Pretty bull. He was a... Uh, Folks, this is... This is the reason you're going to get in shape before you come on the elk count hunt. We're a... Uh, about 150 yards above. Straight up. How come you're not breathing hard? I am. He's hiding it. Yeah, I think in these conditions, just gotta take. Huh? These conditions of being this hot, it's yeah. been hot for. That's one reason he's so dark horned. He's been wallowing in the mud. Yeah. 190 yards, free handed. What a shot. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> now, what are we going to do? Now the rough talk getting back down that hill. It's <laughs> probably 60 or 70 degree angle. You know, everybody thinks that they look at some of these shows and think this is all fun and games. It is there for a little while. Now we're going to watch our main man. <laughs> he is, he's got more experience to pull these down. Let's get it going. Yeah, folks, look, look where the truck's at way down there. That's where we're headed, or where Steve's headed. I ain't going to do that. I ain't gonna follow you like I did last night. Crazy. It's gonna be tough. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be that bad. Right. Oh, let's go get him. It's what we live for. Okay. Uh, you tell me what you want me to do. Just hold his horn out. Wait. Yep. Look at this. What? Can you believe that? I ain't never seen nothing like him in my life. Another oh thing God. that I think is that kind of sets this ranch apart from a lot of the other ones, and I've, I've hunted on some other places, but this one here, they really truly want you to kill an elk. And you know, they, it's real hospitable. Uh, the guides are great. You know, they work hard to get get you on a bull. And as the some of the other hunters start. Uh, killing their their animals and the, the guys instead of them going and leaving you know they're good about going out and spotting trying to look for other animals in different areas and uh, you know the cooking here you know it's good as you get you know it's uh, you won't be eating pizza or you won't be eating TV dinners you know I mean every meal they hand cook you know I've had some of the some of the as good up eating here as I've had anywhere. Landed Ranch Marketing presents this week's Property Spotlight. Uh, we're sitting at about 11,200 feet with this property, and uh, it's the only way you can show these type of properties. You got to get up there, folks. We have a 40-acre in holding at the top of the mountain between Alamosa and Salada, Colorado. An in holding means you're surrounded by forest on all four sides. This forest is the Gunnison National Forest. And folks, you can walk out your back door on this 40 acres and hunt over 200,000 acres. The cabin is off-grid with a state-of-the-art solar system. The cabin comes furnished and sleeps 14 people. And for all you horse lovers, it has a two-stall horse barn. Folks, if you're wanting truly a private area where there's lots of mule deer, bear, mountain lion and elk well this is it it sets at over 11,000 feet and it's priced to sell at $965,000 give me a call 
You know, when it comes to retirement, a lot of people put their money in gold, the stock market, or IRA. You ever thought about putting hunting, fishing, or recreational property right here in the state of Colorado? You know, history's proven that it's always been a return on your money. So if you're looking for a hunting and fishing property that you can enjoy right now through all the years, give me a call. It's early September, it's a rut in Colorado. We're at the Beaver Valley Ranch with Steve Rooney and our pro staffer and cameraman, Hoss Port. And they're about to go on a bow hunt for a nice bull. Bulls are already beautiful. Bulls are already, can't wait. I think they're in our stand. Sounds like it from what I can hear. <laughs> Let's go get them. Okay. Bulls are beautiful. We were walking into our stand. We had just gotten out. We didn't go, what, 100 yards? 100 yards, jumped some cows coming out of the woods, crossing the road. Yeah, well, and uh, they came out, and we were about 40 yards. Yep. He snuck up there just a little bit, three or four yards. You know, like Hoss was saying, they hadn't even gotten to their stand and they seen some cows. And this time of the year when the rut's going on, where there is cows, there's going to be a bull. And sure enough, one started bugling and so they set up and just waited for him to cross. You smoked him, man. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good shot. 44 yards. 44 yards. That's a nice bull. I didn't see the bull that good, but I got a good shot <laughs> out got... of it. Freaking right dead behind the... <laughs> we were just walking into our tree stand. We hadn't got there yet. <laughs> that, that's, that's how it works sometimes. Hey, you got a spider on your... <laughs> Woo-hoo! Holy. Now, if I wouldn't have moved up here, I wouldn't have got him. That was 44 yards. You know, I, I, I would have had to shoot through this tree on the right. See. See I was worried about them limbs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't go right through him, though, did it? No, it buried in him. But right frickin' in Right in the spot. Right. Yeah, he's gonna fall over dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's immediate, it seems like. And Sometimes you find the animal before you find the blood. They were actually looking for their elk they had just shot and sneaking through there. And, oh, just about 20 or 30 yards was a cow. And so you can see if you're real quiet, you can kind of sneak up on them. No. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We sure went a long ways looking for him for his... Yeah, I think the tracker that went to the left <laughs> missed the cue. Oops. He didn't go very far. No. Awesome. Well, now, officially, congratulations. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Good job. He had a little run in with that tree. I wonder if we can get that Kawasaki and back it down in here a little bit. We've only hunted about two days, and uh, we've had some real close encounters. He's a real nice bull, and uh, 
Uh, you should be happy. Here Hopefully are, you are. Man. I am very happy. <laughs> Thanks, Hoss. Great awesome. job here at Beaver Valley Outfitters. Now, if you're wondering why they're not shooting this bull here, they know that the bull that they call Growler is in the immediate area, and it's a bigger bull. Down. Where'd you hit him? Hit him in the neck. Oh, is that where you were aiming? No. <laughs> you, were aiming. you know he spun on us all of a sudden. Yeah. Hoss, what a hunt tonight. Congratulations. You, thank you. Can you believe he came in? Yeah, this is old Growler. <laughs> I pictured a little different bull, but I I thought with his his uh, growling he could be something different. But yeah. Hey. He is a very impressive, impressive bull. We've hunted for a few days and we've been on a lot of elk. We never gave up. Uh-uh. We've heard this guy for two days now. <laughs> he got close yeah. a few times. Yeah, we did. We did. We're here at Beaver Valley Ranch in Hayden, Colorado. And uh, all I can say is congratulations, good job, yeah. thank and you a for, heck of a shot. Well, thank you for another great you, hunt. You didn't exactly hit him where <laughs> we were talking, but... <laughs> You got him over here and it knocked him right down. <laughs> that he works was, too. He was spinning and getting ready to leave. He was. Uh, he was. But shoot, what are we? 20, 30 yards? 30 maybe? yards. From the, yeah. from the tree, so. Maybe we can sleep in in the morning. Yeah. Let's get him cleaned <laughs> up and go get a cocktail. All right, good job. This portion of the show is brought to you by HuntingLease.com. Log on today to view the largest database of land to lease on the Internet. From large ranches to hunting clubs and quality managed properties. Visit HuntingLease.com today. Now it's time for our Man vs. Africa segment. Now we're with Bryce Daly going after a bliss bug. Here they spot a group in a thick cover, but Bryce cannot get off a shot. And again, this is not a high fenced area. These animals are all wild. There's just a lot of them. Shoot him. 
They come out in the open, but take off before Bryce can shoot. The better one is the second one from the right hand side. All right, now he's the last one. All right, they're gone. Well, shoot anyone you can if they stop. Yeah. All right. I'm shooting. All right, go. Get loaded. Following. Is he hit? Shoot him again. Oh, hold on. Shoot him again. Hit him again. Aim it right in the shoulder. Now. You got him again. He gone. He's down. He's down. <laughs> that was great. That was nice. Was, was it? You know, Bryce is like his sisters. They're all great that. shots because they practice. I like mine. Okay.